Today's creature of the day is the Comodactylus. Its name means Como Finger, named after the Como Bluff site in Wyoming where it was found, and that the fossil found was a finger. It lived during the late Jurassic, around 155 million years ago. It was a pterosaur, though the type is unknown. It was likely a rampharynchoid. The specific finger found was the fourth finger, which is the one in pterosaurs that is very elongated. Since only one finger has been found, this is why we can't classify it with certainty. It had a wingspan of 2.5 meters, or around 8 feet long. It hunted fish in the lakes and oceans. Yes, Wyoming used to be on an ocean. And it hunted insects in the trees. It was likely hunted by carnivorous dinosaurs like Allosaurus. It went extinct for unknown reasons, likely because of environmental changes and the rise of other flying predators like birds and pterodactyloids, a different group of pterosaurs. The bone was collected in 1879, but wasn't examined until 1981, when it was named and described by Peter Galton. There's only one known species, Comodactylus ostromi. Some paleontologists call it a nomen dubium, or an invalid genus, meaning it could possibly be a type of Nesodactylus instead. Its only media appearance that I know of is in the documentary When Dinosaurs Roamed America. It appeared as a background animal, and you can only catch it for like two seconds. But yes, that was Comodactylus, and maybe we'll learn more about it someday. Maybe it's actually a Nesodactylus, and we've been wrong this whole time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.